Hey, good day, everyone. It's me, DJ ZH2O, straight out of Phoenix, Arizona. It's a hot one today. It's 110. Whew. Yeah, I'm saying cool. I'm under a fan in the air conditioning. Hey, these lights are hot, though. These are U-King, the uh, 36 LED lights. I got them on Amazon. $165 for eight of them. I had four before, uh, and I was showing you how to do the DMX or the master slave because there's nothing in this manual that shows you how to master slave these lights there th it's nothing there's and there is nothing on the address that says master slave it's uh, nothing there's you got a D for the address you got 512 channels for a DMX they work great they're awesome lights just that there's little information and but the book is you know it's it's right and everything it says it's just that it doesn't tell you how to slave or master master slave so master slave everything right here is set on the address of d which is address 001 so the minute i change that because this light is hooked to this one this is the master this is the slave the minute i change this there they both go. So you have color. You have uh, radiant color or gradient where they, they you see them change. Then you have pulse. You see the pulse. D, S, D is jump. And they have a number 0 to 16. And as you change the number 0 or 1, I mean 1 to 16. 1 is slow. 16 would be fastest. So we're going to leave those on jump. We're going to put these on sound. So now these two are on pulse. These three are on sound. And you got two different sets of light so that you got, you know, a nice little thing going on. So this is what happens when you sound them. Yeah, so that's, yeah, that's what happens. I enjoy them. I like them. Uh, that's why I have 12 of them. Ooh, let me turn this off. If I go back to D001, it'll shut them all off. Now they're all off. Uh, they're a great set of lights. They're inexpensive lights. Uh, they work well if you know how to control them. They do have a remote control, but I don't like to use that so much unless they're all going to be that way because what happens is they all try to recognize that controller and then they start jumping around and I don't like that. I've, I've tried it with the Master Slave and if... The other lights are too close to the remote then they'll all change and you don't want that happening so um try to find something that fits for you or the one that you're going to use the remote control have it next to you or near you so that you're not controlling all the other lights around you unless you want them all to just you know do whatever that's up to you but <laughs> i don't think i'm gonna do that um if you have any questions about the uking par light they are um, let me look at this. ZQB262YK. Um, they're awesome light. And as I said before, they work with this mighty little box, the RBDMX1. The RBDMX1 out into these lights, hooked up to your record box lighting program. Awesome. <laughs> like I said, I set them. I set these to different addresses or um, to whatever I need, and boom, all my lights work, and I don't have to touch anything. I and I can actually change some things through the lighting program on Recordbox. But that's a whole other story, guys. That's a whole other different thing. Um, you, there are videos out there on it, um, but I, I do enjoy the RBDMX with my U King lights. So, hey, hit me up. If you like it, 
give me a like, give me a shout out. Um, until then, be well, be happy, keep mixing. Goodbye, everybody.